As you can see, Beverly and I are both mulling something over. That something is what to drink when the weather outside turns cold. I've got it! Mulled wine! <laughs> I know, I know. Insert groan here. Well, Beverly makes her mulled wine the easy and quick way with a packaged mix. The concept is simple. Just take some red wine, as I've done here, and nothing expensive, and heat it up in the pot, and then add your spices. Mm. Oh. And stir it up uh, until it's just nice and warm, and then go by the fire until you fall asleep. <laughs> fall asleep? Beverly, how much wine are you drinking in front of that fire? Historians tell us that mulled wine goes way back to the ancient Greeks and Romans. What we know for sure is that the Europeans in the Middle Ages drank lots of this stuff. They thought that if you heated the wine and you added spices, that it would prevent sickness. And they added sweeteners because, frankly, the wine they were drinking was not palatable. And like I said, don't use an expensive wine. Uh, use uh, something more on the cheap side because all those spices are going to overpower the wine anyway. And you might, if you have a bottle of red that you would purchase and you really didn't like it, well, this is a great place to use it. But be sure to use something more full body. Don't, like a Malbec or a Syrah, don't use a Pinot Noir because all those spices are going to overpower the delicate nature of those Pinots. Beverly has her recipe for mulled wine, and I have mine. And this is it. A bottle of red, an orange in slices, a quarter cup of brandy. This will really <laughs> make Beverly sleep. A quarter cup of sugar, four cloves of... four cloves. <laughs> and two uh, sticks of cinnamon and a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> Without the partridge, Put everything in a pot, bring it to a simmer, and do that for about 15 minutes at least and up to three hours. But don't boil it because you don't want to boil all that alcohol out. And now with my mulled wine, I am ready for the cold weather and a long winter's nap. <laughs> Cheers.